So firstly, welcome to my brand new series, I suppose, called Going Rally. And this is basically me going on my rally journey. I never rallied in my life and I'm following it. But I'm 23 years old, so I done my very first rally when I was one year old. And there's actually a picture of me sitting on the top of Knockhall in Donegal, sitting on the party. So rallying is my thing and eventually I'm getting to live the dream and competing in the mountain rally. But first, we're here at Rally Scar today with the man himself, David, in order to get my rally license. So the whole idea is I'm gonna bring you from the very first process to get your license to the rally day. So welcome along for the spin. Welcome. David, how are you? Looking forward to a bit of fun yeah, today. He's a brave man to have me here. I but think this you're the brave man that's going <laughs> rallying. Right. This is the start of it though. So. It's going to be a true true showcase for your talent. It has to be. This is it. This is a Colin McRae yeah. lobe. Just, just this is the moment. This yeah. is the moment that yeah. all starts. So, that's the idea. Anyway. So as I said, David's going to show us around. We're going to get the rally license today as well. Of course there's a man too. You know, it's, it's Irish rallying. So anyway, less of that. Let's head inside and let's get this rally journey started. Sure. Basically, you're in the from the motorsport end of things. We're now in the safety hall. Um, the motorsport safety centre was development in association with the Fisher Foundation. So, sort of a, a description up there on the wall as to what happened. So, uh, we approached them, and they, they decided that they'd come on board and assist us with it. The aim with it is to try and get people used to sort of real situations as to what can happen in a rally car, and if you're in that situation, how you can. To help yourself and how you can make yourself safer. So there's different activities that we do. We put people into this. We we'll rotate them around. And uh, you're in this position. How do you get out? You're in this position. How do you get out? What do you do in the event of a fire? What do you do if um, you know you can't get out? All that sort of practical things of uh, what to do if something goes wrong. The idea is that we're trying to help you to cover all bases. So. Be in control of the car, yes, but should things go wrong, like you also know what to do. So that's the idea with this vehicle, it rolls over at high speed, and uh, we're going to pop uh, one of the drivers into it here now and, and put his hands device on, head and neck support system on, and then rotate the thing around and do the explanation. And then we'll do on this vehicle here, we'll just show how to put on the belts correctly so that um, the and the importance of having the belts on correctly. So that's the plan for this morning. The hands device system, head and neck support system, it, it's a real innovation that in the event of a crash, if you're going to crash into something, lean into it and the straps then will take the, the force of it. So it's like a practical thing that's designed to really help you. Always make sure that the straps are on correct. Perfect. That's the job. And always, always, always you check that the thing is tight and underneath your head. So anyway. So the big things on the seat belts is always the bottom belts to make sure that the bottom belts are right. So the side straps in, yeah. So you pop them on there. Side strap in, side strap in, and then the top strap on. That's good. And have them that the bottom end of things is really, really, really tight. So literally, when you're trying to get the belts done up at the bottom, yeah. Can you tighten that? Yeah, we're from it. So tighten them right back. So. And then the belt that's gone down through the seat goes down, comes around the front bar and then goes back so it whole, really holds you into the seat. So that's very important. Pop on the two belts at the top. So we checked and he's had his breakfast now so we hope we, we, don't, see any, we don't see it again. Check that the hands device then is sitting up nicely on the, on the top and then that the belts are lovely and tight. So it really wants to be tight inside the vehicle, so there's no movement. Now, have you ever been upside down in a car, Jason? Never rolled not, one? Not in real life. Huh? <laughs> not in real life, not anyway. Real life. Don't plan on doing so anyway, so. But you never know. First thing is, don't panic. So if you're trapped in this situation, He's on the bottom, he's on the top, again the top has to get out first, so it's engine off, you okay, I'm okay, we're both okay. 
So you're not hurt, there we are. So no. try not to get hurt getting out of the thing. When you try to open the door, don't let it drop down and pop in. So we've been upside down to different sort of experience because all the blood's rushing to your head. Same story again is being fit to reach your cutoff switches. If you're trying to get out of the vehicle and get your feet up into the dash in front of you, push yourself back in before you'd let yourself get out, yeah? So, as you're getting out then, you know, in that road situation, if you're upside down, or you're, you have to just not panic. That's the first try thing. Not. Just try not to panic. You're already, you've had the accident. Don't get hurt or don't get involved with something getting out of the vehicle, yeah? So, Okay, what do you think of it? It's interesting, it's great. It gives you a sense of what not to do and what okay. to do. Right. I even, I love to put you in it because your head just goes all fuzzy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just, if you have a wraparound seat, yeah, pop your leg in. If you have a wraparound seat and the space that you have to get out is a wee bit restricted, fit one of these. So you have a left off steering wheel. So it just means that the room to get out is easier. If you want to put your feet up in the dash to get out, then there's nothing stopping you. It opens it all back up. It just makes it easier for jumping in and always if you have to think make sure she's clicked on. Hopefully not getting to the windscreen really. No. And that's it, it's the same story again. So this is just again it gives you sort of the sensation of how heavy you are in the in the, in the, this is just like one G, so it's your body weight at, at travel. So a good guideline is that the buckle is below where your belly button is and this is all really 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 tight across your head. So it's like, you know, you're just basically hanging there. That's 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 one G, yeah. So there's a guy in this exact situation, the car was nose into the drain. He was holding on to the steering wheel, undid the belt with one hand, this hand slipped off and he slid down and he broke his sternum, broke his sternum on the steering wheel, burst the steering wheel like it's a horrible injury breaking your sternum. So all that happens is just all his weight just dropped forward. He thought he could hold it with one hand. But it just the hand will just slip off and you get it serious. So that's where it's back to using your legs. Your legs are strong to support you in that situation. Um, and that'll, that'll get you down safe. So as an additional precaution, it's just something we're recommending. It's not made out by the, the, the you know FIE or anybody else, but this is just like a simple seatbelt cutter. Uh, we've tried it, and even on the most difficult parts of the belt here, where the seam would be, or on a joint or a triple joint end of things, just by putting your finger in there and pulling that across, it literally, you know, it cuts the belt just like butter. So yeah. I'm sure like myself, there's lots of people start rallying. Motorsport gear, of course, is paramount. In suits and stuff, but helmet wise, would you recommend full face, half face? Full face is the best. The full face is the safest. Mm -hmm because it's obviously protecting your sure. face, so if something penetrates the vehicle, it's, it's going to give you. The likes of Sebastian Loeb, um, nine times world mm -hmm. champion, eight times, whatever it is. Um, he wears full face, yeah. So a, a half wraparound sort of one is the sort of the next step, and the open face would provide you with the least protection. Yes. Um, so best is the full face. So if you can, full face it is. Yeah. Um, tires then, you just match the tires as best as you can for the event. Yeah. So, it, you know, it, it's trying to give yourself the best chance. A set of really hard, worn intermediates, it's, not gonna, <laughs> it's gonna make it like, so if it's the first event or you're starting out into things, invest in a set of tires. Instead of respraying the car, which costs you whatever yeah. number of grand, leave the car alone and tires. get some decent tires. In. So it's heel to toe, nice and steady, and, and looking ahead of you, look ahead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Now pick up them keys here, come around here, this is keys there. Alright, alright, just, just pick up the keys there, we'll see. Let them know. <laughs> 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 so you arrive, arrive on site, um, meet and greet, we take you up to a training room here and we just go through fairly simple basic safety stuff that you know 
where you need to be stopping, you know where you need to go when you when you arrive at a rally, you know what the car needs to be like when you arrive, you know what you need to be like when you arrive. So it's just like basic information. Um, spend some time up here, then we're out on track, so it's like part theory and part practical, where it's you that's, the, the, the idea with it is, it's not that it's a barrier to enter in the sport, it's a way to welcome you into the sport and um, make it easier for you. on the day this is the car we use the classic mark 2 ford escort so the 2.1 engines in them there's loads of torque in them nice gearbox in them so it's like getting you into a rally car for the first time it represents your first event so it counts as one of your events and it's given you really good experience to settle yourself a little bit before actually going on to the stages Slow down. This could be very tight. 60. Fast four right. Fast four right. Fast four right here. Six left of a crash jump. Watch the tree left for the arrow. 400. 
two left at the top, Young Cut it. In this slot, square left. Repeat, two left, Young Cut. In this slot, square left. Two left here now, Young Cut. In this slot, square left. <laughs> right and fast four right at the gate 100 four right here now gate 100 left on small black press 140 three left the house very tight three left up here at the house it's very tight very tight and five right and four right don't cut 80 four left slippy as well with a four left down here slippy four left now 40 care press four right into four left and it opens up to a long five left over press 100 fast three right narrows watch this three right here it narrows watch this three right narrows and a five left and a caution tight four left defense caution four left tight defense here watch this one 60 five right in the flat press six right one party up the middle slot square left don't cut narrows slot square left don't cut the slow five left at the gate and stop press sudden two right slow five left at the gate stop press sudden two right sudden two right here and then a square left Square left now, don't cut it. 80. Oh, three left up of gravel. And lay two right. You've got to lay two right now. At the gate there. Into four left. Up the crest. Opens up to a five left. Go on the five left. 100. Three right there. Slippy. It's a three right now. It's slippy. 100. Chicane. Left hand entry. Four bales. It's a left hand entry chicane. And it has four bales. Caution. Mid over the crest. Jump. You've only got 60 for Port Heaven right. Port Heaven right now. Into flat crest. Five left and five left in over flat crest. Bad bumps. Very long five left continues. Watch these bumps, Jason. Very long five left continues. Only 60 after the same for slot square left. Only 60 now for slot square left. Watch your arrow. There it is. Pick up. 40. Four left and lit four right. Lane 4 right coming up and yet into a dip, into crash, jump, 60, 3 left, shed, gravel entry, 3 left here to shed, gravel on the entry, 40, right on press, press 5 left, 100, fast 3 right down there, fast 3 right here, 3 right now, and right on flat press, and the left on flat press, 100, 4 left at the poles, you see the 4 left there, them poles, into crash, tight 4 left, into crest now, tight four left, don't cut a lot of gravel, slippy. Five right over mud, and slow five right, turn two right, comes quick. Slow another two, two right now, comes quick. 80, three right, don't cut, and four left over crest. Three right here, don't cut it, and then a four left over crest. 60, six left, and the six right, flat, 150 flat, short two right around the roof. Short two right down there, around the roof. It's a two right round this roof now. 30. Four left the back fence, near the finish. Only 60, square left. Only 60 now, square left. Break up, break up. 100, stop, square right, don't cut. Stop, square right, don't cut. Finish down here. 60, long flight left. And 6 left of a press bump, finish. 6 left of a press bump, finish.
Payne at the AB. Repeat Titans to a four right now at the AB. And strong fight right over crest. And long fight left continues past the shed. And caution. 100 over bumps. Six left flat. 150 up the hill. Mid over flat crest. And right on long flat crest. 60. Mid over the crest jump. After the shed, you've only got 80 going down for a four left. You've only got 80 in past the junction. 100, stop 3 left, sudden 2 right. 100 now, stop 3 left, sudden 2 right. Sixty. Six left in front of you, 80 after. Slow 4, right hand corner, hairpin left, up, drive at Newtown. Corn hairpin left now, up, drive at Newtown. Go, go over this now. Go, go over this now. 5 left in front of you. 100, flat. 5 right and jump and chicane right entry 4 bands repeat jump and chicane right entry 4 bands 60 caution crest 4 left tight this 4 left up here is tight into long 6 right we stop 5 right flat into 5 left flat left off do not cut it into 2 right don't cut it and two left. Two left now. Four right. Six left. Three right. Three right in front of you there. Into five left, five right. Into four right. Don't cut. Into four left. Caution. Four left now. Caution. Left on long crest. The short two left. And four two right. Neat. On two right there. Keep in on it. Keep in on it. 60, 4 left, into over the bumps, and then a 3 right in front of you, that's a 3 right there, into the crest, very long, 4 left, lift to the second pole, 80, caution, late 3 left, over crest jump, stopping on it, for torn hairpin right, stopping on this, for a torn hairpin right, 60, out of this hairpin right, 5 right, flat over crest, and a 5 left, flat, 100, short, 3 left, at the top, you see the 3 left there now, right in over the crest, and then left, 6 left, over crest, and a 5 right long at the wall, you're going out of it, so 60 over bumps, 5 right, into a very long 6 left, continues into turn square left at the same, this turns into a square left at the same, through the bales, into 3 right flat, and 6 left, 60, 6 left over crest, don't cut flat, 40, 6 right, 60, tight 4 right over crest, 6 right here, you have 60 for tight 4 right now, tight 4 right, into crest, and caution late, 3 left, stay in 8, don't cut, don't cut, stay in 8, 60, caution crest, tight 3 left, watch it, and crest, long 4 right down, long 4 right here, down, and then go into a flat 5 left, 60, you're slower on the 6 left, into crest, stop tight 3 right, over gravel, stop tight 3 right, over gravel, into 3 left, and going out of the 3 left for 40, left on crest, 60, long 2 right, Long two right there, into flat crest, 80. You're slowing on the five right, for a torn late square left. Slowing on the five right, for a torn late square left. 150 going out, crest, only 60. Torn square right before the wall. Repeat, torn square right before the wall. 60. Five left, past the junction, it's fast. And care, four left, nips at the end. This care now, four left, nips at the end. And then a very long five right down, nips at the same. Over the finish. Well done. Good man. You pulled another 20 seconds.